All right, today we are going to talk about sex-linked traits. Uh, do not write anything unless I tell you to. So, um, sex-linked traits. Uh, what determines the sex of an individual? So, if you're going to have a baby, what determines if it's a boy or a girl? I would like you to write this down. Females have two X chromosomes, XX. Females have two X chromosomes, an X and an X. So, when they made you, you're going to get an X from mom. It might be this one, it might be this one, but it does not matter. You are getting an X chromosome from mom. Males have one of each, an X and a Y. So sperm can either have an X or a Y chromosome. So a female's egg is going to be X, and a male's sperm can be X or Y. So you got X from mom. Now you're either going to get a sperm with an X on it, and if that's the case, then you are a girl. If you get a, a sperm that's a Y chromosome, then you're going to be a boy. So males are going to determine the sex of the offspring. So if, if you're a young lady and your dad complains that you should have been a boy, it's his fault. The X sperm got there before the Y sperm could. So if we made a Punnett square out of this, you don't need to write anything here. But when we cross this, we'd get a girl, a boy, a girl, and a boy. Or a, a two in four chance of getting a girl, or a 50% chance, and a two in four chance of getting a boy, or a 50% chance. I would like you to write this down, sex linked traits. Traits located on the X chromosome. There are certain traits that are called sex-linked traits because they're located on the X chromosome. And I'll explain. Here's an example, and there's nothing you need to write here. But an example, the gene that controls color vision is located on the X chromosome. So this little C represents um, actually color blindness. So it's on the X chromosome. I would like you to write this down. A carrier is someone who has a gene for a particular trait, but does not show the trait. A carrier, and maybe underline carrier, is someone who has a gene for a particular trait, but does not show the trait. And if I'm going too fast, you can always pause. So this is a female carrier of color blindness. It's got one healthy X and one that has the color blind gene. So, don't need to write anything, but color blindness is more common in males than females. Any ideas why? More common in males. Okay? This right here is a color blind male. Okay? Its X chromosome has the color blind um, gene, and then its Y is regular. This would be a carrier female. It's not color blind, it's a carrier. Okay, it has a, a one healthy X and one colorblind X. What happens is that healthy X is going to cover up the colorblind X. So the healthy X co uh, covers up the, the colorblind one. Here in the male, it has a colorblind X, but it doesn't have a healthy one to cover it up. So the male is going to co be colorblind. This female will not, it'll just be a carrier because it has a healthy X that's showing. 
The only way a female can be colorblind is if both X's contain the colorblind gene. So colorblind male, carrier female, colorblind female. So a female has to have two colorblind genes and a male just has to have one. Let's do a little example here. What are the chances of a colorblind male and a homozygous normal vision female having a colorblind child? So a colorblind male and a homozygous normal. Well, so if we do this here, a colorblind male, let's do a little pun at square. Colorblind male would be X, Y, and then we have that little C there. And a normal vision female, so that's just X, X. So when we cross this, we always put the C on the second X. I'm not sure why, but it's just the way, way it goes. So always put the C on the second X. Okay, so we end up with two boys, and these are two normal boys. There's no color blindness there. Then we have two ladies, and these would be carriers. They have a normal X, and they have a carrier, or, or they have a um, X with the color blind gene. Okay, so then we have two carrier females. So the original question was what are the chances of having a colorblind child in this instance? And we would say zero out of four or zero percent. There's no chance. We could get a couple carriers. Actually, if we get a girl, it's going to be a carrier. If we get a boy, it's going to be normal. There is no chance of getting a colorblind child in this instance. Here's another example. If a colorblind female and a normal vision male have a child, what are the chances of having a colorblind child? So we have a colorblind whoops, female. So females XX, and so they both have to have colorblind trait there. And a normal male, it's XY. And when we cross them, we end up with That right there. So these two males are colorblind. Two colorblind boys. These two females are carriers. So in this instance, if the mom is colorblind and the dad is not, every boy that they have will be colorblind. Every female, every girl that they have will be a carrier. Hopefully this makes sense. Um, that is all. Let me know if you have questions.